When I was growing up, I'd have to say that the most influential band uh, was the Beatles for me. Um, and mainly Ringo as a drummer. He, you know, I used to uh, play along to Beatles records when I was a kid and basically taught myself drums. You know, Ringo is um, my most favourite drummer of all time. I think that I'd probably say X. Uh, you know, I had a really good time um, writing for that album and um, I just have some fond memories of recording that uh, in Rhinoceros recording studios in Sydney. Well, I think, you know, the songs of X um, and the way Chris Thomas uh, produced it was really interesting. Um, I really love Suicide Blonde. I mean, it's just a great song to play live and um, I really enjoy hearing it as a recording. Um, there's a couple of other songs on that album which I really like, uh, like By My Side, you hear that sound, the stairs um, disappear, faith in each other. Um, I love the whole album. Well, every night we've been playing on this tour, um, the fan reaction has been just incredible. And, and you know, it's, it's just wonderful to walk out on stage and just see the entire place just standing and going crazy. And, and that's always really, really uh, a great feeling. And um, if you're feeling tired or something, it's, it certainly sort of seems to wake you up pretty fast and, um, and gets you right in, into, the, into the show. The most rewarding feeling I've had on this tour so far would be um, just, you know, the, probably the Canadian dates. Uh, there's been such a great, um, uh, you know, a, enormous support uh, in Canada. Um, but probably uh, the Toronto gig so far was, was just really special and also that marked the date when my wife joined me on tour. <laughs> so that was good for me. It's hard for me to pick one track off the album uh, that I'd be looking forward to doing a video for, but I'd probably have to say um, Devil's Party or even Never Let You Go. Uh, but, but I think Devil's Party, we could have a lot of fun with that. There's a few things um, we, we could do with Devil's Party. Uh, it's, you know, um, something kind of obvious might be one way to go, but then sometimes it's good to not be so obvious um, with videos. Um, but um, we're yet to uh, come up with any sort of firm treatment, so that'll just have to be a surprise if we end up doing one at all. In general, I think I prefer performing in larger venues. Uh, I, I don't know why, it's just, uh, I just feel that a, a larger audience seems to um, have more excitement, you know, because there's more people. Um, but that's not to say that small gigs uh, aren't fun too. In fact, uh, the more intimate they, they are, that can be pretty intense too, you know. But I, I think I prefer larger venues, you know, around 10,000. Boy, what's my least favorite sound? I can tell you right now, this morning at uh, 7 a.m. <laughs> um, fire engines, uh, ambulances, police sirens, uh, construction outside, construction in the hotel, vacuum cleaners, people knocking on the door when you've got a do not disturb on your, uh, on your knob, door knob. And um, yeah, generally construction noises like screeching uh, tile uh, cutters and uh, jackhammers and hammer drills. And I'd say my most favorite sounds would be obviously the sound of uh, water lapping on uh, up to a beach, you know, birds, bird song. And uh, I, th I love the sound of uh, when I hear my wife breathing when she's lying next to me in bed at night. Well, there's been many touching moments uh, in the almost 30 years I've been in an excess. Um, some have been extremely sad and some have been extremely uh, um, happy. Um, but we've experienced um, so much uh, that it'll be hard to narrow down to one particular thing, you know. Um, I think obviously when we got our first number one in America, that was pretty good. We all felt really close and connected and very proud, um, you know, that we'd achieved that. 
Um, but um, that sort of thing is perhaps a little more material than some deeper things uh, to do with, you know, personal, um, you know, um, moments that, that, you know, band members might be going through. And the band's always there for each other. And I think that, you know, I'm just lucky to be in, in a band with some of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. So, yeah, it's always touching. Well, I'd have to say, as difficult a question it is to uh, choose one song that would sum up my life, but I'd have to be a little bit uh, melancholy and a bit of a softy and say um, that sometimes, you know, you've just got to smell the roses. So I'd say, uh, What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. You know, I'd have to say that my favourite remix uh, of In Excess would be the Rogue Traders, uh, who did a great job on uh, Need You Tonight. Um, and uh, today I still think it's the best one that, 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 uh, that we've had done. And the Rogue Traders are really cool, so uh, that was a good marriage, that one. Well, you know... There's many artists out, out there in the world that I'd like to work with. Um, uh, I'd, I'd always be very interested to work with Brian Eno. Um, whether or not he'd be interested in working with us, uh, I'm not really sure, but um, he would be my, my, my first pick. Someone who's, uh, you know, done some extremely um, innovative uh, styles of music and um, has inspired, inspired me you know, for years and years. I go through phases where I like to shop in certain shops, but at the moment um, I've just been sort of wearing jeans and t-shirts and that's, you know, basically uh, where I'm at at the moment, you know. But if I had to go into um, get all designery and, and choose a designer that, that maybe I have favoured more than others would be most recently uh, Dolce Gabbana.